Hello everyone. So um, we've made our boundaries and all that stuff already. So I'm going to go back now and make the more refined mesh for the wing. So um, off screen, I made some adjustments to the mesh. Actually, I was looking at some of the old sim files that we've used and changed some things. Um, let's go back to operations. Um, you can see that it's kind of yelling at me because I changed some things. But um, so. I believe if I remember correctly, I did this yesterday. Um, let's see, I think it was the number of prism layers I changed. Yeah, by default I always said 6, and I always made it uh, 5 centimeters in height, which makes a lot more sense. It's, you know, smaller. But that's about it. So, uh, we're going to go and make our more refined mesh. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this is not the best meshing method. The best me meshing method is actually what you do is you make a coarse mesh. Well, first you should define the region um, one car length ahead of the car, no, sorry, half car length ahead of the car, one car length behind the car, and refine that. Furthermore, you can go and run a sim with a coarse mesh and see how the wake develops behind the car, and then go ahead and make refinements in the wake area based on that. I'm sure there, I, I'm sure there's a way to get Star City Sim to do this, I don't know how, but I'm sure there's a way to make an adaptive mesh as well, but that's far beyond my abilities. So, this, um... This will get you, I think, good results, but again, this is not the best way to mesh. So if you can figure out how to do uh, local refinements based on like volumes and all that, please do that instead. But if you can't and you're strapped for time like I've been, um, you can go ahead and do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to custom controls and we're going to make a new custom control. Uh, we're going to go to new surface control because again, we're selecting a surface and we are going to, well, we only have one here, but just out of habit, I'm going to name this Wings. Um, so if you had the full car body, you would select, you rename and select different parts. Like, for example, the body doesn't need as fine of refinement as the wings. The driver doesn't need as much refinement as the wings, etc. Um, so first, what you're going to do is you're going to, in the properties, say part surfaces right here. To click the triple, uh, triple dots and select what surface you want. In this case, we are going to refine front wing and the end plate end plate so again i made some off-screen surface splits uh had to redo the file actually but um i isolated as you can see here these are the surfaces that i have um i isolated the edges of the end plates so that way those curves can be resolved better because you can see they're a bit blocky so once you've selected the surfaces you want the mesh refinement on the service refinement you can go ahead and come through and start Doing the same thing we did with the with the uh, default controls. Now values will depend on what you set up here. So as you can see, when what you just see me do was changes from parent to custom. This is saying, all right. So this is the control we have. Do you want it to be the same as the parents, aka the default control? So you don't need to touch it, or do you want to modify it? And if you want to modify it, you say custom. Or in some cases, for these options like curvature and proximity you'd say disable if you don't want them to happen at all but in our case we're going to set custom on all those um don't really care about that we can leave the growth rate as the parent because it's the same growth rate remeshing we already have remeshing on so that's fine prism layers we are going to make custom one and for prism layers you have to make sure you go down customize select which things you want to customize so in our case we want to customize the total thickness and the number of layers and now you can see that pops up down here as well and wake refinement so i used to leave this on but i never really saw a difference in this method of meshing so i'm going to leave that off and so let's go ahead and just change the target surface size um i'm using values from sims that we did last year for this so again this is what i found works best from trial and error but i can't tell you for certain if this is the best for this method so um you can see that I set the absolute minimum surface size really small for the wings. It's because to I want to make sure that this curvature and the tips end up getting resolved nicely. And that's why the target surface size I make larger than the normal one. Because that way it lets these areas become larger and these areas become smaller to help reduce the burden on the CPU and the mesher. And again, because we have curves, I'm trying to make sure those curves get resolved fine. So that's why I'm upping the curvature 
values compared to the default ones. I really want to make sure the roundness gets highlighted. I don't know why I turned proximity on. Actually, I don't actually touch that. So, my bad. If you do that with proximity, though, you can go ahead and do that. And again, so I changed it to I ha add an extra prism layer here, and I also make the total thickness thinner so that way it actually will conform to. Actually, sorry, I lied. I only do five. But I make the the thickness thinner so that way it will conform better to the wing because if you make this too thick, which is I think why it didn't mesh in the volume, it just will fail completely if this is too thick of a layer. Like on the full car, the nose cones right here, it won't make a prism layer because the prism layer will end up being inside the nose cone, so it'll just cancel in that area. So I'm thinking maybe I have it set too coarse and that's why it didn't show up. But Anyways, yeah, so once you have these all refined, you'll see the automa automated mesh icon will have a little caution sign there that's saying, hey, I need to update myself. So, uh, we will go ahead and do that. I am not going to let you, I'm not going to record this while it meshes though, just because I don't know how long it will take. Um, because I'm dealing with a pretty small surface size, it may take a while, but I don't think it should take too long because it's a wing. But I'm going to stop recording and you can look at the results of the mesh in the next video. So, um... Yeah, thanks for watching.